Welcome back to part two of the Winterschnee buckle covers. This will go over priming and painting. We'll start off this process with sanding. For these pieces, I had already applied two coats of an automobile primer, and I'm going in with a fine sandpaper and just sanding them smooth to the touch. All materials used in this video will be listed in the description for your reference. Since these pieces will be glued onto clasps, I did not prime the back side. And next we'll go over painting. For painting, I already applied two layers of a basic silver acrylic and I'm just going back in and touching up areas that I think needed some spot attention. Next, we'll move to shadowing and aging the pieces. For this, I'm using a simple black acrylic paint that I'm applying in the crevices and just around the edges of those pieces. To dilute the paint in between, I'm also dipping my paintbrush in water, which is off screen, just to give more of a wash effect. As I'm painting it, I'm also building up that color with the wash effect to get that darkness that I want. And we're just going back and continuing, just building up that color and reapplying the areas. And when one piece is finished, just to give you a quick comparison, and when both pieces are finished. The final hand painting process I'm going over is highlighting. For the highlighting, I'm using a white Sharpie paint marker and just applying the highlight symmetrically as a mirror image on both pieces where I think the light would hit. I found this technique through both Kamui Cosplay and Jessica Negri. And what the piece looks like when completed and a better shot once they're completed and sealant has been put on. Thank you so much for watching part two of this video series.